and welcome to this video tutorial of Comenza products, now available for download in the Beam Object Cloud. In this video, we will talk about Comenza Railings, now available for Revit. The Beam Objects can be downloaded from our portal simply searching for Comenza. Like this, we will see all products from this manufacturer. Comenza products are presented in individual product pages which contain all the necessary information about the product. In the product page, we can see the product name, a description, a specification text, some links to some technical information from the manufacturer, and other information like classifications, regions where this product is available, and properties. If we click on the download button, we will see all the available files for download of this product. I'll download the Revit file. Now I will show you how to add the railings to the project in Revit. First, we need to open the Revit file that we have just downloaded, while having our project open too. In this file, we can find some section details in 2D showing how the railing is anchored to the slab. Here, we can find some information about the handrail and anchors. If we go to the 3D view, we will see the different configurations of this product for both balconies and staircases. In order to add these railings to our project, we need to go back to our project file. Then, we need to click on Manage, Transfer Project Standards and unselect all of them and then just select the railing types which is the category we are interested in. Then we click on New Only and wait until the program loads. Now we will have all railings from the file we downloaded available in our project. I'm going to delete this railing here and show you how to insert a new one from Comenza. I just need to go to Architecture, Railing, Sketch Path. Then I need to select the type that I want to use in the type selector and simply draw it in my model. If we go to the 3D view, we will see that the railing needs to be aligned with the slab. For this kind of task, the best is to work in an elevation view, so I will go to the south elevation. Once I'm here, I just need to align the lower part of the railing with the slab and constrain it. If I go back to the 3D view now, I will see that the railing is correctly aligned with the slab, but if I zoom in, I will see that it's mounted in the wrong way. We just need to select it and reverse the mounting like I'm doing. Finally, we can make a last check in the plan view to see that the railing is placed correctly. When we select the railing, we can see its instance parameters here, which apply to this railing only. If we go to type parameters, we will find all the parameters that apply for this type of railing, like the baluster placement and the different handrail options. In the identity data parameters, we will find information about Comenza and the link to the product page of the product. Enjoy using Comenza products and thanks for watching!